<laughs> so I open up my uh, Facebook, Fabiana, and it's like I'm on Louis Vuitton bags. So I know that uh, <laughs> I'm in the right place talking to you. Okay, we are live on Facebook. I'm just going to pull up um, Facebook on my phone so that I can answer any questions that come on mm -hmm. while we are live here as people come on. Um, awesome. This is good. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So, um, Fabiana, how are you? I am really well, really, really well. Tried to here in Australia, so it's awesome. Which room of your penthouse are you in right now? I am in my office. You're in your office. And where is your office in the penthouse? It's in the second level of the penthouse. Oh, it's in the second <laughs> level. People, people, it's in the second level of the penthouse. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we have people already joining us on Facebook. So if you can drop me a heart or a like, and you guys can ask questions for Fabiana, because I'm going to keep an eye on my phone on the Facebook oh, while I okay. chat with Fabiana. And I was thinking about like, what would, what would be of interest to people? And I know that when I hear stories of, I was struggling, and then I hear, and now I'm in a penthouse. I'm like, what was the blueprint? I want to know like A to Z exactly what happened, right, Tyler? Tyler's watching on Facebook. Like you want to know, okay, so what exactly did you do? So that's what we're going to go through today, Fabiana, because I think what's great is, first of all, it's happened in a relatively short amount of time. Yeah. Yeah. And if I had told you, Fabiana, you are going to be in a penthouse, a two floor penthouse in Brisbane. Now remember the, where you were living when we first started working together. Oh yeah, yeah, I do. And I said, and it's gonna just happen within what, a few years, not even? Yeah, probably a, a, a year and a half okay. or so, yeah. So it's gonna happen, happen within a year and a half. Yeah. Would you have believed me? No, 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 not at all. And I think, I think Fabiana, that's the part that people get tripped up on. Like, how could you be so far from the belief and then have it in a year and a half? So, um, mm -hmm. guys, this is what we're going to talk about today. So mm -hmm. let's go back, Fabiana, and maybe just paint the picture of where you were at when you reached out for us to work together. Yeah. Um, I, at that time, I was following you for quite some time and I, and I knew that you only, I wanted to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. I yeah. knew that that was my thing that I made a decision even prior to talking to you. And, um, and at that time I, I was starting my own business and I was struggling. I was struggling. Mm -hmm. I was, I did not have the belief in myself that I could actually launch it. I could actually start doing something um and and I was like how am I gonna reach out to Ina because I can't really tell her like I'm struggling really? <laughs> I, I know for your mind I know yes it did it did this is how much I did not have faith in me right this is how much yeah yeah and you were posting that you wanted to work with people who are earning 20K uh, a month. And I'm like, yes. oh, yes, I was doing how am I going to, yeah. yeah, I'm like, how am I going to do this? I'm like, you know, and I like, I started to like really hustle, like hustle to get contracts. And I had about three contracts that were about, you know, taking me about 15K in a month. And it was like not even close. And I was struggling to make it happen. So I said, I'm going to reach out to Ina now and, ask her to you know if I if we could work together and yeah and you said yes and we started working and the first okay, so whoa 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 let's pause here Fabiana because you guys <laughs> have to understand um it's more now but at that time Fabiana wanted to do be a private client and the reason also was because of the time zone difference she couldn't have made the calls that I had for groups. So really, mm -hmm. in her case, it kind of had to be private if she wanted that high touch experience, um, because it is high touch in the group, but she couldn't make it 
into the group, but you were in debt at the time. Oh, yes, I was in big debt, in big debt, because I was just investing in all different things, trying to make it work. Um, really, like the operating word, word here, make it work. You know, I was forcing it to work. Um, and yeah, my husband and I, we were in debt, mostly my debt, mostly my debt. And it was six figures debt. Oh, yeah, it was 150,000. Okay, let's pause yeah. and let that let the people hear that. <laughs> yes. So here she is $150,000 in debt. Yep. So I think this is really huge of you even making the decision to add more debt because you're because you're coming on as a private client. Yes. So tell me about the process for you to make the decision to do this with debt, because many people that are listening want to work with me and they've got debt and they don't they feel like I got to clear the debt first and then I can do it. Yes. Yeah. I, my thought process at the time was that, you know, I was at the bottom and I was like, I don't know how I'm going to get myself out of this. I need help. I, yeah. I had an honest conversation with myself and I'm like, I don't know how to do this. I need someone that I can ask questions and really lean in for advices. And that was my, that was my, my thought process truly, you know, and I was like, Look, whatever it takes, I'm going to do it, and it's going to it's going to be one more thing that go that adds to the bag. <laughs> Literally, I was like, oh my god, how I'm going to do this? And but you know, I I I did it. I I, I said I'm going to do it. I didn't tell anyone though. Here's the funny part, Fabiana. I actually didn't know that. Yeah, I nobody knew. knew. Nobody I didn't knew. Know. No. When mm. Fabiana signed up, I had no idea mm -hmm. that she signed up with that debt. I had, I actually, I had no idea until you were, until we were talking, this is now in your penthouse. And you said, oh yeah, when I signed up for you, I had six figures debt. Yeah. Not only did you have debt, but you had a young child. How old was your son at the time? Uh, he was probably a year, just turning a year. So $150,000 in debt, a, a baby turning a year, and you have a husband. Yeah. Did you? So here's also what happens uh, for people, Fabiana. They're like, well, my partner won't let me. Hmm. Um, yeah. Did you tell your husband? No. no. <laughs> God, no. God, no. He did not know this. <laughs> but he is fine now in the penthouse. He is oh, like yes worked out okay yeah. so that's really yeah. interesting that's interesting. Well, it's it's one of those things like i i think that i need to take responsibility for me it, it, that was the decision right i understand that you know if, you know sometimes when you're in a relationship in a marriage you've got to share things but this one it was on me i i, I knew it was on me because it was for me that i was doing it wasn't for anybody else and I decided not to tell anybody because I know what Bob says. He says, you know, just, you know, make a decision and do it, you know. Um, and at that point, that was how I was feeling. I just had to do it for me. And that was my decision. Wow. I think that's incredible. Mm -hmm. And for you to take 100% responsibility for if this was going to work or not work, it was going to be on you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and the paradigm around debt is very interesting because every time I would look at the bills coming in and the debt and I, I would just think like I want to get rid of the debt and I would then remind myself, no, you're not getting rid of the debt. You are making more money. That's what you're going to do. You're not going to get rid of the debt. Yeah. And, and that's what I kept saying to my husband, like, let's not think about the debt. Let's think about creating more. Yeah. And that's that's how that's how we sort of got rid of the anxiety around debt. So you changed the way you were thinking about it. And yeah. then did that change the way you were feeling about it? Yes, absolutely. It wasn't on my mind anymore. It yeah. was 
what was on my mind was about creating more for my family, you know, and for myself. And, and that was the shift that really took place was a, a thinking pattern that I used to have about saving money, about, you know, trying to save a buck here and there and to pay the debt, you know, and, and what was creating was more debt. And I realized this and the, the moment that we started discussing myself and my husband about, you know, let's not talk about the debt let's talk about how can we grow ourselves into our business mm -hmm. and uh, everything will follow from there. You know, I trust this, this is how we're going to do it. And, and then we kept insisting in this, in this um, thinking. Yeah. So you even took the language out of your vocabulary. Like you made a deal with your husband that we're not even going to use that yeah. word. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. Yes. It, it, it was a tough conversation to have because we were quite anxious about, about it. And, but we said, I said to him like, this is the last time ever we're going to talk about this debt. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a funny conversation. He was like, "You're crazy." I'm like, "No, listen, well, you don't know the half of it." <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, I th so I think that so I just wanted to highlight this because, again, it can feel like, um, yeah, I was struggling. No, I couldn't have imagined myself in the penthouse, and then I signed up for you with you. But even the moment of the idea entering your mind of I need help, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be able to do this on my own. And the process of going from that to paying the invoice, like <clears throat> that is that in of its, you know, it's so interesting because Fabiana, I think that in of itself, that process right there is a breakthrough. Yeah. 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 I, I totally realize this now that was a huge breakthrough for me at the time. At the time, was it was really like it was overwhelming going through it. Um, I had a lot going on. But it, now that when I look back and it's just it was an incredible breakthrough and it was an incredible decision that I made. It was. It was an incredible decision that changed the course of our lives. Yes. Yes, of our lives. So there you are in this. Was it? It was it a small apartment in Brisbane when we were first working together. <laughs> yes, it was really yeah. tiny, and um, it was it was an okay neighborhood. And um, you know, like I made it nice, you know, but it wasn't nice. It wasn't. Um, it, it was. It's actually we had mold in in the apartment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, like it's just crazy, but that's that's what we were working with at the time, and um, yeah, so it was it was an interesting journey. And I, when I look at pictures of our of ourselves in the tiny apartment and the tiny window, like a tiny balcony that we had, it's pretty incredible. The difference so incredible and so now you make the decision like okay I'm we're not talking debt is no longer a word used in this home mm -hmm. and you're focusing on building wealth so you switch your mindset um you ended up tripling your income yes so can you mm -hmm. just share a little bit for everybody like what was that process like and on Facebook guys feel free to ask questions or definitely hit the like and heart so I can know if this is resonating with you but this is for you this is for you to know what's possible so we want to make sure that we are speaking to you so when you started can yeah can you share a little bit of going from debt to starting to see money flow in yeah I started to really uh, so when we started working together, I started to do the gratitude and send love to people and um, really dig deeper into the healing part of what I needed to do, like about how I saw things and how I saw other people. And when I started to do this, send love to all the people that I worked with in the past and so on, and then all of a sudden I had like people contacting me, like CEOs wanting to talk to me and, you know, and I was like, whoa, this is, this is strange. This is like, what? And I started to see that happen. And, um, 
and I'm like, oh, this is this is happening now. And I started to have conversations and really like open myself to different possibilities and start trusting mm -hmm. more. Um, and then I, I started to have meetings, business meetings, and I started to um, have deals with um, yeah with companies that I knew before and that they know me as well. Tyler on Facebook asked, what caused your debt? What did you do for a living? Like, how did you get into $150,000 worth of debt? So before um, I had my son, I, um, I was a director as, at a consultancy firm, but it just wasn't fulfilling my heart. Um, and then um, I was in a really good income. And then I got out of that work and then I wanted to do something else, but I couldn't really find what that something else was, right? And I wanted to work for myself. And then I started to really stack up debt on, mm -hmm. I wanted to like learn how to do marketing. I wanted to learn like all these different things. I was buying like different courses and I was buying like, you know, like all these different things that I wanted to, to do but I didn't have the belief in myself. And literally that's, that's what happened, you know, and I started to just like do it and you like spending the money, you know, buying this, buying that. And, but that's how I got into that. Yeah. So and, it's interesting um, because this really speaks to the fact that we are programmed. We want the strategy. So yes. it's easy to yes. spend money on, all of the things, the tactile things, like I will see a website, I will yep. see a logo, I will see all of these things. But you can have the best strategy in the world. But if you don't have the mindset, because our results are 95% mindset, it doesn't matter. So when you start to shift the mindset in our work together, yeah, that's when it changed. Oh, that's it. Yes. I was in the strategy. I was in the mechanics of things, you know, like trying to learn how to do stuff in business and like how to run my own business. And it, it was so interesting that um, when I saw your um, ad for like a, like a business uh, mastermind and yeah. I'm like, you know, and that was it for me. Like that's what triggered like it's somewhere in my mind, it must be because I'm doing everything else, it ain't happening. So what the heck is it? So, and, and then, you know, like I remembered watching Bob and like, and, and um, in knowing that it would come from my mind, it would come from my inside. But yeah, it, you know, like it's, I think a lot of business spends thousands and thousands of, of, of dollars on systems and processes. And, you know, it is necessary, but I don't think that is, the major expenditure that really should take place. <laughs> so know? it's interesting because when you started, okay, so first of all, when you, when we started together, you were $150,000 in debt, a small apartment, and then money starts flowing in as you start to release stuff. So did your, did your relationship with money in this work start to change that you were able to also receive yeah. the money as well and be yeah. open to receiving yes yeah it, it, my relationship with money changed dramatically um and how I like me and money like we are best friends um we go everywhere together and it's like yeah it's it's so good it, it's really it feels really really good now to have money to talk about money it's it feels good yeah so, um, you, so you started to make some money and you're, you are starting to see now changes in the external. So you've been working internally. I know I get this question, how long does it take? And of course it's different for everybody because it's, mm. it, it has to do with accepting the belief mm. that, of whatever yeah. your goal is and knowing mm. it is possible for you and really accepting that. But how long would you say that it took before you saw the physical manifestations of what you had been dreaming and imaging and desiring? I would say two months. I saw a, a huge wow. shift. I, I, I got it. I landed a big contract. Then, um, um, then from there, I would say um, not within nine months starting the work, 
I moved into a bigger apartment, like amazing apartment, like okay. incredible. Guys, you got to listen to this. So like, this is the beautiful thing. I feel like I've just been, it, when you say that it's been like a year and a half, I, it's shocking to me because I feel like it's been so much longer. I think because we're programmed to think that this kind of growth is like 20 year. This is a 20 year yeah. path that you collapsed into like 18 months. But um, I remember when you told me about that place. So here's what I want you guys to hear. So we're on a call and she's like, um, so I think I found a place that we're going to, uh, we're, we're, I want to move into, but it's a different neighborhood. Like it's a better neighborhood. And then it's got this um, area that you can come in through the back or the side. So I could have clients come in that way and I can work from home then as well and see clients in my home. And I think in the community there, there was a pool if I remember yeah. correctly, yeah. yeah. So yeah. there was a pool for your son. And like, this is this is really big because you were also now going to move into a different neighborhood as well. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that decision to move. Um, it, um, it was, we started to feel like, well, actually I, I had the impulse. I had an impulse. Because the place was like, I, I definitely have outgrown the place that we were, the moldy place. My son calls it smelly place. <laughs> and would you say, would you say that you outgrew it internally? Like you would look around and be like, this doesn't, this isn't me. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And I would come home and I would try to like make it all nice and everything, but it just wasn't fitting anymore. Um, and then I said to my husband, let's, let's start looking at things. Let's put ourselves out there and start viewing some homes and see what we can find. And we started to look and it just wasn't, we, we, we couldn't find anything, uh, really that was hitting our heart. And one day I, we were having lunch and I just flicked through this, uh, the realestate.com and then this really like odd place came up that like the pictures were nothing, nothing like it just, I just like, Oh, we just idling time at the moment. Let's just like, call, I'll call up and see if they can show it to us now. And they did, they were able to show it to us just there and then. So we just drove across the bridge and we went um, to see the place. And when we got there, it was like, wow it was just blew our socks off and my husband was like super my son was like yay this is a new home and he was like super excited and that's that's how we sort of like it showed up and it, but hold on hold on Fabiana did you have the money okay when you were looking at home homes were you looking in your price range like could you could you did you have the financing set up that you could buy that home right away no. Oh, you no. didn't. Okay. No, no, no. I not remember that part. No. So um, at that at that point, um, we were just renting there, but it, it was like a big rent. Like it, it, it's nothing like normal rent. It was like super mega rent. And um, we were like, uh, how are we going to do this? And I said to my husband, we can do it. We just have to believe we can do it. The money will show up. It'll come up, you know. Um, and yeah, it was the best decision we made. It was like, it really helped our self image, how we feel about ourselves. My husband's business like took off and everything changed from there. That's incredible. Mm. And so now you're in that. So I also, what I want you guys to know is that in, I think it was in our first cycle of working together that you bought that you moved into the new place. Yeah. In our second cycle of working together. So I just want you to hear that Fabiana has invested in herself three times. We've worked together in different ways and there's always been an investment. Fabiana, what do you, do you think that investing every time you've invested, it's made a difference in your results? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's. How it's, so? It's, um, I, I think that this definitely is a psychological thing because when, when we invest in ourselves, we take ourselves seriously. 
Uh, we really do. We go like, I'm serious about what I want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be serious now. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna work on myself. And I think that's like, it's, it's the premises of making that investment. And um, it, it's for me like the first time was a huge leap. The second time was like a no brainer for me. I was like, I, I, I know what, I, I, there is more. I know there is more to do, and I want to do more. And it was just like this thing that just keep, I know that, that there is more and I need to be challenging myself to ask myself the more questions. <laughs> and I love going deep with one mentor, like you going really deep so yeah. that you're not always starting kind of at the beginning again, mm -hmm. they know you. So the other thing that I think, so I love, Tony loved what you said, um, me and money are best friends and we go everywhere together. I love that, Tony. I love that too. I feel like I need that tattooed somewhere. <laughs> I have another question. Did your husband wonder about your attitude shift? Did you tell him about your coaching and what are his thoughts about that now? Um, he, he, he definitely noticed the results because the incremental two months in. That yeah started yeah the incremental shifts are small you know like and then all of a sudden you see it's like oh we're in a different place because you know like external like they see things from the outside they mm -hmm. don't see what's happening on the inside mm -hmm. and my attitude shifted on the basis that like a lot of ground rules at home changed like we don't Ooh. talk about um, debt we don't talk about other people unless it's like really good about other people like we have created these boundaries within our family okay we need to pause there everyone needs to take this in you created it sounds like a kind of a mission vision statement for your family your personal mm -hmm. values what yeah. you accept and what you don't and mm -hmm. it feels like it came from being in harmony with your highest self like in this house wow yeah yeah, yeah. It, it, it that was like a huge difference for my husband and you know um I think like we like most people and we were in the habit of like you know sometimes talking about like things that we didn't enjoy at work or things that we don't enjoy about other people or like you know just like chit-chatting it's part of a chit-chat and one day I said to him like how about we like we've got a son how about we start shifting this and just really like when we're going to talk about someone, we talk about them like in a great um, aspect, how good they are, you know, like how, you know, did you notice so-and-so like they, you know, this, this, and this, like how wonderful is that, you know, how amazing is that our son is not going to have the same, you know, mindset and like paradigms that we had that we were brought up to just talk about what's going wrong. <laughs> yeah. But, Said, what let's talk about what's going like amazing for other people and in the world you know so know. that that was a huge shift in the attitude around the house and prior to that so this is what's interesting Tyler is prior to the new ground rules you were doing gratitude work yeah so you you yourself were focusing on what's good so Tyler also wanted to know did you ever tell him about the coaching oh the, the I eventually did <laughs> know about me <laughs> yeah I eventually did I did I did but then and then like he's um oh he's super supportive about this this now like he knows how much is important to me and how much it's it's really changed our lives yeah yeah and then and that's exactly you just answered her third questions with which was and what are his thoughts about this now so now you're in, so our second time working together, now you're in the space, you're in this beautiful, you know, rental that you have to make the rent every month, right? Like, and it was, as you said, mega rent from what yeah. you were used to. You moved from the moldy place to this place. And you also, I think it was at that time, if I remember correctly, Fabiana, was that the time that you did your first class, your first, first class ticket to Brazil? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes. So this is all like, and I was in debt. I still was in debt. I haven't paid paid that debt yet. When I bought that ticket. Okay, then people need to hear this because this is gonna freak people out. 
Hmm. Her debt, she still had debt. So she started with six figures. She's making money, but there was still debt. And now she's going to Brazil. She's been working on herself, on her self-image, how she shows up. It's time to buy the ticket. Economy is not feeling right. Share yeah. that process because I'm going to tell you, Fabiana, I know what would come up even in my mind when I first bought first class tickets. Oh my gosh, that's a lot for one seat. Maybe I'm a little, do I really need it? And mm. I still have all of this debt. It's not responsible. Did you go through that? Yes. Yes. Oh, you oh, did. Yeah. Okay. I, I did. I did go through that. And, 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 and in the end, the battle, the battle within was this, that, you know, I, I, you know, like, why would I, I don't need this. Why would I spend this kind of money to go like, you know, to Brazil? But I, I said to myself, I'm worth it. I am bringing more and more and more, and there is even more available. So, and that's what I kept saying to myself. And then I bought the ticket. Um, my husband was like, what are you going business class? And I'm like, yeah, I am. <laughs> I am, you know, I am doing this. And he was like, what? He was like, what? He like, he didn't accept, you know, but I said, I'm doing this because it is, you know, it's important for me to do this. And it, it was, it was the best thing I did because there, I think I really solidified my self image as a, as a, as a person that's worthy the good things in life. Mm -hmm. The good things that I desire, I'm worthy of them, you know. So, and at that, at that, I think that was like when you like, you know, when you stamp something, like that was the stamp that you sealed it. Yes, yeah, that sealed it for me. And um, then after that, I only travel business class now. Yeah, yeah. It's so interesting because we say this, but it's. What I, I was talking to a, a client that's just starting, uh, that just signed up today. So Jody, if you're watching, <laughs> look at what can happen in a matter of months. But I, I was saying to her, you know, we can measure what we will lose, the thousands of dollars we can when we invest in something like this. But honestly, you can't measure what you're what you can gain because you do this work and you're coachable. It's beyond what you can even imagine. Like the best that you can imagine isn't even what it what it will be. Yeah, 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 absolutely. You know, and I that this this work has really shifted, like how myself and my husband we operate as a team. Like how we like he has his business and I have mine, and even you know, like how he, like he does like his more morning routine, like, and he does his affirmations, he does everything, you know, so that we discuss that it's important for us to nurture our minds. And, you know, like what I'm mostly really proud of is that my son is watching us do this. Yeah. yeah tell me what, you're, what do you notice? What does, what is your son picking up? Oh, he sees that we've got our uh, vision boards that he sees that we're doing things you know like for for ourselves um that we just not you know like talking about it we actually he sees us doing right now he's two three and a half so he doesn't have the full understanding but he's growing seeing ourselves feeling that we are worthy of those investments of time and money on our own growth you know, so I think this is the best education I can give him. You know, Fabiana, I think it, it's so true. Like even, you know, many times people will come in for their revenue. They want to improve their business. They want to make more money. And again, of course that happens. But then it's these kind of shifts, you know, it starts to change what's happening in your home. It changes how you talk in your home. And these yeah. routines, and I know I can I can also speak to that just personally in my own life, and that you feel like a team. You're communicating better because you are not denying what you want, mm. so you also don't have to deny him what he wants. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's really it is so beautiful. Yeah. Now let's um. Let's get to the penthouse. You guys <laughs> are gonna love this story. 
So Fabiana oh. and I would chat, we would have our sessions around this time because it's uh, and even a bit earlier. So it was about 6.30 a.m. for Fabiana mm -hmm. and she would do gratitude walks. So gratitude has been a staple for her um, in yeah. her changing her self-image. And she would do gratitude walks. So many times we would be on a Zoom call and we would be outside and she would be at a park. But there yeah. was a particular park that you would go, go to and there was a particular building you would look at. Will you share this story? Yes, yes. Um, I uh, started to, to in, in the program, there is the, the productive actions that we got to start taking to really align ourselves to what we want. And I decided that gratitude walks, the walks of gratitude was the thing for me to connect and be grateful and dream every day at the same time in the same spot. <laughs> So, and that's what I used to do. So, and then um, the place that I actually used to walk is actually across the river there. If you can see, there's a board walk there. Can you see? Yeah, that's yeah, gorgeous. So, yes. Yeah, so I used to walk there and actually do a loop around this river. And the park is just there. See the, the green trees and stuff. So that's yep. the park that I used to sit there and I'll talk to you and then look at this building and th there's three buildings here and um and I used to look at those buildings sipping a cup of coffee and tra teletransporting myself up here and dreaming that I was sipping my coffee from the big balcony here now in my self script I it starts like this that I wake up in the morning <laughs> and I walk into my balcony and I see a lake, a body of water. And I feel the wind, you know, like stroking my face and while I'm sipping my cup of coffee. So where I started this whole, um, like, you know, uh, process, I was living in that tiny apartment. And I would go out, out there and it was like, there's no water here. It's just like... <laughs> And I'm like, I have to get out of here. And that's where the productive action came from, from actually doing the gratitude walk. So I said, I need to be like where my my life script is. Yeah. And to me, it was like the stopping there at the hotel, sitting and sipping a cup of coffee. Then, you know, I, I moved into the better place. And then it actually now I'm here. So I kept, I kept you know, very... Um, faithful to my script, my life script, and feeling that feeling every day. Um, and that's what I used to do. I will sit there, sip a cup of coffee, and just like feel the wind and just pretend that I was here. So, <laughs> And you would, so here, here's the thing, guys. What Fabiana would do sometimes is she would pretend that she was in the penthouse looking at herself in yes. the park, like, like looking like how she showed us the view right now, mm -hmm. she would imagine that she would be able to somehow see herself across the lake or across, yeah. across the water. Yeah. Um, at times, like I catch myself during the day, actually doing these, I look at, cause my, my desk is directly across the, the table that I used to see. This is amazing, you know, and I look there and I, like I see myself sitting there looking back at me and I just feel so much gratitude for oh. persisting. For persisting. So here's also what you guys need to know. First of all, whoops, um, put a heart or a like if you're enjoying this conversation and remember you can ask any questions. This penthouse was again not in your budget. No. I'm trying to put it, I'm trying to think like, how do I say it, as you said, mega bucks. Like, yeah. like this is like we're talking seven figures. Like this is, this is not, this is a we're this is not a yeah. in the, you're we're we're talking like it's a two-floor penthouse in Brisbane. Yeah. We are not talking about just a big apartment. <laughs> No. Yes. Um, yeah. And it, it, 
go ahead. The, the whole process to get us here, it was very, um, I wouldn't say it was an, it was just easy to begin with because once like I, I wanted it, my husband wanted it and paradigm kicks in, right? Paradigm kicks in and we have to be persistent. And to the point, we were looking at other places and we decided to put an offer on a different property. And that property got like, they accepted the offer, but the bank declined. And I'm like, what the heck? That's not, what? No, it does not make sense. And then I just felt that it, something was like, the universe was trying to tell me something and I just couldn't understand what it was. And um, it, then this place came up and, and I was like, what? But no, no, no. You know, I was like just denying it. And then I just forgot about it. And this was in the market for quite some time. And then what happened? What started to happen? This is what's very interesting. Uh, so I was on the other, because I used to live on the other side of the river. And my GPS, my GPS started to tell me that I wasn't there. I was here on this side of the river. I'm not kidding you. This has happened, I would say, probably 15 times my GPS started to tell me that I was on this address. And I'm like, yo, this cannot be like, what? To the point that I order a couple of Uber yeah, and they were waiting for me here. And I was, and I'm like, no, yeah, yeah, yes. Wow. And, and I was like, and I wasn't getting the message. I was not getting the message. And then what happened was one day I was, with my husband in the car, we were going to see another property, the other side of the river. And I put in the GPS and then again, calculating the the, tra the trajectory from here, I'm like, no. And then my inner voice spoke to me. I actually heard myself say, like, you know, the internal voice has yeah. said to me, what is it going to take, Fabiana, for you to realize this? And I'm like, realize what? And then I'm like, oh, I should be on the other side of the river. And then, and I'm like, okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. And then I booked to come here to view this place with my husband. And then uh, when we came in and it was like, yeah, it's, it's, this is the view. I've always dreamed that we've always dreamed that the view that that's it. So Fabiana, when you walked into there, so now what I want you guys to know is now Fabiana, we were working together for the third time in a year and a half. Fabiana, when you walked in, did your self image accept that as your place immediately or was there any disconnect or not at all? Not at all. It was like normal. I, I, I kid you not, this was like a really interesting experience. It was like, it was like, it's normal. Like, it's hard to explain this because it may sound like, oh, it's nothing. But no, no. It's because the persistence of being across that river every day, looking at it, like for me, it was just normal now. And, and it wasn't like the, like fireworks. And it's just like, oh, like it, it, to me, it was like, it's normal. It is, it is, this is, this is, you know, and it's acceptance. And it's just, it's, it's hard to explain this feeling because it's a feeling of normal. It's, it's almost neutral. Like, yes. And yeah. you know, um, Fabiana, what I want to, what I want everyone to know is that here's the thing. She didn't know how long it would take on her, like, but she had, when, when Fabiana is saying I was persistent, she was persistent in her faith and understanding the laws because that's what we'd been working on all of this time. And she had started to see some results, but it was nine months. Mm -hmm. Now she could have stopped at seven months, not knowing that there were only two months left or eight months or eight and a half months. So were there times Fabiana that you were like, I want to give up or by that point with all the work that you had done, were you very committed to this goal? Um, giving up, no. No, I'd never thought about giving up, but I thought about um, what's interesting about this is that uh, when the point that I got wasn't wasn't like I wanted to give up, but and that's where I had to actually check in. 
like, should I be doing more? You know, is there more for me to do? Like, I think I text you a few times. I'm like, I think I need to do more, you know, like, you know, because it's not happening. Like, I, I think I need to do more. What, what more can I do? <laughs> right. And, and then you ask me like, how do you feel? I, I, I felt like, and then I checked in like really deeply and I thought, oh, you know, like I feel very solid. It's coming. Like, and then he said, like, you know, just rest in that feeling, you know. And I know. I love it because people are used to, yes, go do five emails, do strategy, <laughs> like, go have a nap and relax and enjoy the feeling because that's your indicator. You're close. That's it. Yes. Yeah. And that was a very, very good because, you know, <sighs> sometimes we just want to just do stuff like, you know, to kind of pacify the ego or whatever we call it, you know, like mm -hmm. I must be doing something. Otherwise it does not mean that I'm working on it, yes. you know? Yeah. And that was like a, a thing for me that in the end I had to make sure I wasn't pushing in sense. I had to like, you know, just rest in the knowing and the belief that it's, it's 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 done i just have to line up with continuing line up lining up with it um and you also noticed well the universe kind of did have to beat you over the head with it and like uh, shout at yeah. you at times yeah but what's interesting is fabiana is in one of our elite masterminds with three other people and all of the other participants have already have a foundation in this work they've done the work and in fact leanne says hi fabiana she's watching you hi. on facebook now <laughs> Um, and you mentioned the street address. Now you hadn't bought it yet. You'd mentioned the street address. And then somebody in the mastermind group in Canada is like, oh my gosh, like that address for her, she had a connection to that exact address. So it was like, as you were, yeah. it, it kept showing up. Now let's get okay. to the money. Who wants to hear about the money and how, how a bank that said no to a property that wasn't that much, how she managed to swing this. Let me know if you want to hear that. And, and as people do, because I know there's a delay on Facebook, Joshua says, well, first of all, Tyler says three feet, three feet from gold, as far as the waiting out the time until it happens. And Joshua says, it's so important to make sure you're, you aren't using the intention from a place of trying to satisfy a feeling of ego significance it makes so much sense thank you so he thanks you for that mm -hmm. so let's so you're being slapped upside the head with this placing this is your home you now come to see it it hasn't yeah. changed the price now that you're in it yeah yeah what happened next for you it, like what was it, where did you go uh, because at that point there the money wasn't it wasn't the the question anymore Mm. was more of like we knowing that this is what we wanted to do it, it you know like that but but this is what it's so interesting is like for me it was I think my expectation was that it's going to take longer and it just it was just there and it's like here it is and it's I'm, I'm thinking like but really wait what <laughs> really it's it's it you know it, it, and then when I came in, that's when everything was, oh yeah, it's, it's, it's done. It's normal. But it's like my brain took a while to catch up. And then at that point, like the, it, it was just like, it was already done. It, it's no other way to explain this because the bank already had all our details and everything. So. And would that, was it just accepted right away? Because this yeah. was quite a much, a much bigger property than yeah. you were thinking of before. Yes. So why do yeah. why do you think? I mean, obviously now we can look back that of course the bank de declined you before because of this. But yes. Were you were you surprised that there was no issue for this and there was for something that was less? No, I wasn't surprised because the yeah. universe told me to come here. It was like the to the GPS to, the, for, for the GPS to tell me that I I I was here. Like it's like really because you know the GPS to, like tells you where you are and shows you like, you know, where you are and then where you want to go and then put the trajectory to where you're going, you know, like, and then you get the directions yeah. and it was giving me directions from the, this address. It, it, it was really bizarre. It wasn't making sense. And, and I made a mistake a couple of times, like ordering Ubers, you know, 
to me, like at that point, it's this is how the universe works. And it's just once that's lined up, everything lines up. Everything like I, I was I was thinking like this place would be like heaps of people coming, wanting to view, like people putting heaps of offers and blah blah. No, that was just us. Just us. My sister wants to buy an apartment now, she can't find it. Because there isn't one. I said to her, line up in the universe, we'll show up, give you one. There will there will be no competition. It's just it's you know so, what this says? This is, speaks to like what is meant for you. If you've claimed it, like what is yours is yours. Yes. yes. What is yours? That, 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 it wasn't anyone else's. Yeah. Yeah. And then and at that point, like this is what it's interesting, right? Because we try to work it out everything. And, you know, the for the other house, I had to work out the money. I had to like mm. do all of this stuff. And it was like very stressful, like very stressful it was. You know, um, because I don't know what happened, but we we decided to go to the Gold Coast, and then we just it wasn't like you know it yeah it wasn't meant to be because this place was was what already was lined up, and yeah and and the the thing for me is I would say that you know money is never the issue, never. Never. Say more about that, Fabiana. What do you mean money is never the issue? Because people are watching this going, how can money is always the issue? I cannot do things because I don't have money. So how can you say that? I know. So it's money is now that I've gone through this whole journey, money is never the issue because money is just energy and will show up if you make a decision that's what you want. Yeah. And when I made the decision for the things that I wanted, the money showed up. And I kid you not, like it's it's almost like magic, you know, like unicorns and like ponies and stuff like that. But it, it really is if you really open the heart and feel this and it's it, money will just be like a matter of a, 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 you know, another thing that will come together like people, money you know, property yeah. and deals and so on, you know, like uh, the, the right coach and everything will come together because you made the decision that you're worthy and your dream is worthy of you. So Fabiana, there's people on this call. I know there are people watching this that are like, oh, I want to invest. I want to do this. But the money, the money you were there, you were, you were in debt for 150,000 and you decided to do it. I mean, obviously, I, I I know the answer probably to this, but if I charged you double, would you do it? Oh, yes. That first time, looking yeah. back. Yeah. Over and over again. Over so I love and that because it, it's a question I ask when I'm talking to people and I say to them, I go, what result would you want to get that you would say, Hina, if I knew I would have paid you double? Mm -hmm. And because the truth is, it's they're going to get that result and more. Yeah. And, and it, changes, it changes your relationship. So if there's anybody on the call right now that you're like, I want to know, I want to be a part of this. I want, I want, I want what Fabiana has and I want that view. Um, we're going to drop the link of how to sign up. And really, as, as Fabiana said, money is not the issue. The partner is not the mm -hmm. issue. Mm -hmm. The issue is there's only one question is, do you want it? Yeah. And if the answer is yes, you click the link and you do it. If the answer is no, you don't do it. Mm -hmm. Because your guidance, that inner feeling is not going to lead you, it, not going to lead you wrong. Now, you've got to get that first one, that first feeling. So if the first feeling is yes, don't be surprised if like minutes later, it's drowned out with all of the reasons that you can't because that paradigm fights dirty. It does, yes, yeah, yeah, it, 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 it's, yeah, you know, and um, it, it's for me, the decision to get to, when I say like money was never the issue because it never was, because if it was, I would have never done this because I was in debt. Yeah. You know, if money was the issue, I, I would have never done this because I would have never invested myself. I would have never paid anything like for like really to get myself out of where I was. And 
the, the interesting thing about all of this is that seeing myself as the best investment mm. in my life, it's actually like really oh, like makes me even emotional about this make realizing that I am the best investment the best return I'll ever get in this entire life it's pretty 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 amazing you know it's amazing yeah I want to uh I have one more one last question um for you I know that you know uh, everyone has enjoyed this immensely and you guys can catch some of you guys are watching the replay right now so Fabiana, um, what was it like the first night, the first morning that you woke up in the penthouse? Uh, it was, it was, it was surreal. It was like, it, it was amazing and it just felt so good and normal. And, and as soon as I looked across the water and I remember myself sitting in the morning sipping the coffee and then looking at myself now looking back at me you know it was quite surreal to see that everything I ever held in my mind happened it's just it really happened everything I held in my mind in that little coffee shop happened and I was now physically standing in my bedroom and looking at it. It's just so cool to see this, like really, like now touch and feel it, you know, and and once it was just in my imagination. <laughs> I love this. I love this. It was just in my imagination. <laughs> to this and more, Fabiana, and more and more, because we are, there's infinite limits. Yes. 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 Um, yesterday I had an impulse to go downstairs with my mom and have a croissant and have a coffee. And whilst I was there, I had a, I had an insight. I, I had a vision of what's coming. It's so cool. Oh, it's God. so cool. I said to my mom and she was like, wow. I said, yeah, mom, like, you know, this is another thing. Like I've just got to I'm going to believe it. I'm going to embrace it. I'm going to start acting as if. <laughs> it's going to be cool. Oh, oh my God. $150,000 in debt when you decide to start working with me. As your son said, the smelly apartment. Yes. In the house. And how cool is it? Like I've got chills that you have, that you could, what you can do for your mom. Yes. 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 And my sister, like, and your sister and your family, like, this is what I don't think yeah. people get. It's like, this is not yeah. like, it doesn't stay with you. No, my sister, this is another story. What the, how the cause and effect, how this has caused her as well to shift. Yeah. She moved to Australia because of me talking to her and like, you know, the work that I was doing, she wanted to do. So then she was, um, she's doing with someone who speaks, but she doesn't speak fully English. She's just doing someone in Brazil, you know? And so she's doing that work in herself as well. And now like she's here, she realized her dream and it's just amazing. Like all of this, cause I started to talk to her, she got inspired and then she then decided to do the same investing herself you know I think what happens Fabiana is that you we give other people unconscious permission to start to dream and do the same and those are the people that you know of like your family but there are so many people Fabiana that by you stepping into your power that you are inspiring every day that you're not even aware of yeah so, so glad that I can do that for other people because like we are so worthy and we, we've got so much potential and amazingness to experience in this world that, yeah, whatever, like how, whatever way I can ex inspire people, it's amazing. You're incredible, Fabiana. Thank so you. listen, guys, if you have questions for Fabiana, or anything, just put it in the chat. I'll be sure to tag her. There'll maybe a time difference uh, because Fabiana is in Australia. Um, 
I just feel so blessed. I get to continue to work with you, Fabiana. Yeah. I mean, for me, this is such a delight. This is such a delight. And guys, we've never met in person. Yes. Person. <laughs> no. but Fabiana, you better be ready for like the biggest hug of your life. Yay. Yay. <laughs> when we meet in person. Yes. Uh, it, it will happen. And I can't wait for that moment. But um, thank you so much for doing this. Like just so oh, much love for you, Fabiana. You. Um, and I know that you touched every single person that has listened to this and will be listening to it. So thank you so much. I know it's early morning for you. <laughs> no problem. Thank you so much, Ina. I, I'm, I have extreme gratitude in my heart for you and for the work that you do and the work that we continue to do together. It's so inspiring. And I thank you every day for being who you are, being the best coach. And it's just so, so amazing to have you in my life. Oh, thank, thank you, Fabiana. You. We'll talk soon. Have a great day. Yes, you too. Bye. Bye.